Détective Hercule Poirot Ah, Chief Commissioner. On the contrary, it is a most convenient time. The safe passage of a painting. Tell me everything. If man was meant to travel the oceans in such conditions, he would surely have been given his own fins. A distraction is what one needs. Where is that blasted contact? How is one to prepare for an assignment if one does not have all of the required information? Very well. I shall wait no longer. Beautiful, isn't she? Pardon, monsieur? The open water. There really is nothing quite like her. When one suffers from the mal de mer, the beauty, as you say, is rather more a burden. Forgive me, I just can't imagine being scared of the ocean in this day and age. The potential to see the world is open to even the ordinary man like us. I can assure you, monsieur, it is not a matter of being scared. And as for ordinary... I didn't mean to offend, mister. I am... Um, Forgive me, madame. No harm done. Accidents happen. I... My cigarette case. Where is it? I didn't see. You thought I wouldn't notice? A young lady traveling alone. An easy target for you, I bet. I'm sure the young lady would appreciate the help of two handsome strangers. Hmm. 
The young lady should not be left to get. You are returning home? I am. But how did you know that? Besides your educated accent, the crest that adorns your cigarette case, it is of British origin. Very observant. It's the crest of my family. Miss Florence Farquhar, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. The pleasure is ours. That looks like everything. Except for my powder can. Is this what you're looking for? It is. Thank you, Miss... Miss Babanyan. Anastasia Babanyan. Anastasia? What a beautiful name. It was my grandmother's. Well, that's everything now. I can't thank- I'd be happy to escort you. Here, I'll take your bag. Oh. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Cabin 4. I'll be right behind you. Anastasia. Perhaps I can offer you a token of my gratitude in the bar later? That would be lovely. And you, Mr... Detective Hercule Poirot, at your service. A detective? I was not expecting to meet such a distinguished gentleman on board. I did not expect to meet someone of Russian descent on a ship between the great city of Antwerp and Dover. I never mentioned where I was from either. One did not have to. Anastasia, of Russian origin meaning resurrection. And here was me, thinking I was special. Your knowledge of my heritage is most impressive. And I'll take that as my cue to leave. It seems it's just us remaining. I would very much like to hear stories from your homeland. Perhaps you... As charming as that would be, I'm... Then I shall leave you to your slumber. Adieu. As much as I enjoyed the delights of the restaurant, I still found my mind drifting back to Mademoiselle Babania. I have spent the first part of this excursion neglecting my duties. It's time to retrieve my notebook from the safe and begin. The combination was not a difficult one to remember. 1815, the Battle of Waterloo. Aha. Uh -huh. Et voilà. Time to... One cannot ignore such a blood-curdling scream. My mother's cigarette case! It's gone! How could somebody do this? Mademoiselle, I ask that you take a moment to calm. You're a detective, of course! What... As luck would have it, one of Belgium's finest. Now, I require as many details of the crime as you can offer. I came to my cabin and began unpacking. I couldn't get the safe working, but the gentleman that helped me with my luggage showed me how it worked. Afterwards, I went for a brief walk, and when I returned, the safe was open, and my cigarette case was gone. We must consider the suspect list. Those who were aware of the cigarette case's existence. That can only be those who were up on the deck when my luggage spilled. Miss Babanyan, the porter, yourself. And your helpful stranger. Yes, of course. I ask that you gather them for me. And while you are absent, I shall begin my investigation in here, if 
Mademoiselle permits. Whatever you need to do to find it. 